This is a part two of a teaching I started talking about what you need to consider before you quit. You see, there are times in life where things are tough and things are rough. There are times maybe you're in a relationship that is toxic or you are in something that is telling you you need to move from here. You need to walk away. You need not to get involved in this anymore, you know, and, and you feel you can't continue there anymore. Well, before you make that move, I spoke to you in part one, three things that you need to consider. And in this part two, I want to again talk to you about three more things that you need to consider before you walk away or before you quit. Because there is nothing as sad as when you walk away from something that actually was holding your destiny or you walk away from something that actually was the determinant factor to your success or to your wealth. So what are these three things that you need to consider? Number one, you need to consider how quitting aligns with your long-term goals and aspirations. The first thing before you decide to make that move, you need to ask yourself, as I move, will this align with the long-term goals I have in as far as my life is concerned? Because you see, you don't just quit for the sake of quitting. That is why personally, I am against people who quit because of emotions. You know, you get offended somewhere and suddenly, boom, you just run or you just go or you just walk or something is said, you are not happy and you suddenly just go. That kind of quitting is what we call premature quitting is what I consider as baby quitting. You know, it's where you are reacting to something and you are just moving without considering consequences, you're considering the outcome, considering what that will, how that is going to affect your life. So what am I saying right now? Whenever you make a decision, you need to quit. You need to reflect back on your long-term goals. You need to ask yourself, Will whatever move that I'm making right, right now align to my goals? Will it align to where I am going? Will it align to what I am thinking and dreaming in as far as my life is concerned? Because you see, if you quit and that quitting does not align, what will happen is that you will end up destroying your future. You will end up destroying something probably which was very good, but simply because something happened and with, uh, with haste and, and, and just like that without thinking, you just went away or you just walked away, you end up messing up everything. So the first thing is that you must reflect on your personal goals before you make the move. That is so, so important. The second thing is that you need to consider the timing. You know, sometimes timing can make a significant difference. What I mean by that is that you need to evaluate whether there might be a more strategic time to make this change or to make this move. Don't just move abruptly like that. Don't just move hastily. Don't move without considering what is the time right now. Because you might move at a season where making that move is not the right season for you. Strategic timing is extremely important when you're considering considering to walk away, when you're considering to quit, you have to ask yourself, is this the right time? If it's not the right time, hold your horses. If by doing it at this time, I'm going to mess up with so many other things, hold your horses. If by doing it by this time, I'm going to bring down something that we have built for so long, hold your horses. Consider the timing before you make the move. The worst case scenario is when you are actually making a hasty move and you end up the following day you are broke or you are defeated or you are beaten up and you end up in depression, you end up in distress because you just moved. Consider timing before you make any move. That is why whenever you're making a move, ask yourself, is this the right time? Is this the right moment? If I do this, what will actually happen to me? What will happen to my children? What will happen to my spouse? What will happen to this thing that I have invested in for so many years? What is going to happen? Consider the timing. Timing is everything in life. Timing is actually everything in as far as life is concerned. And then finally, the third thing, ensure you have enough financial support and stability to support the transition that you're about to make. You need to ensure that you have enough savings behind which is going to back you up. You need to ensure that you are something you can hold on to. You have alternative income sources. You have ways you are going to get money because if you make a move that is going to cut off what you have been getting as your supply to make your life move, pay your bills and do everything, and then you have just left it and you don't have an alternative 
alternative, my friend, you're going to be crying as you go home. You will be crying everywhere. Why is that so? Because you made a move without considering your financial stability. Especially a move that has to do with your finances or a move that has to do with your income or a move that has to do with your daily up, uh, upkeep, you know, that has to do with your payments of bills and payment of your mortgage and payment of whatever else. Before you make the move of quitting, Ask yourself, do I have financial stability that is going to sustain me for the next three months, six months, one year in case I quit and I don't get an alternative job? If I quit and I don't get another way of doing, bringing in income, will I manage to be here for six months depending on what I have actually set aside as my savings or depending on what I have been having or depending on another stream of income that has been on the side? You know, will that stream of income sustain me and maintain me either in the same way I've been living or even better if you are able to make it better. You have to consider those things because if you don't consider your financial stability, I would advise you not to make the move yet. Hold on your horses. It might not be exciting. It might be painful right now. Maybe it is something that is not working out very well for you, but wisdom demands that you hold on, get your things in order, get everything in the place, get everything well, and then from there you move. If it's a job you're moving out from, if you are already considering it, start looking for another job. By the time you're moving from that job, it will basically be from this job to the other job. But don't move. And then after that, you start looking for the job when you have already quit. Ah, uh ah, -uh. no, 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 no. Don't do that. That's not wisdom. Quit when you know that I'm moving from here and entering there. Or I'm moving from this opportunity and picking up this other opportunity. Or I'm stopping this business because I'm already growing this other business. Or I'm doing this because I already have another alternative way of ensuring that I have an, a, an income. Or ensuring that I have some kind of support financially to help me move in the next uh, months before I can secure myself something else. Listen to me. Movement that are done without consideration are detrimental. They are disastrous. They can be very destructive. That is why you have to use the wisdom God gave you to ensure that you don't just move without considering the things that I've talked to you. Please don't quit without making sure you have a stable place to land on when you quit. Otherwise, thank you so much for listening to me all the way to the end. And I hope in whatever thing that you're going through right now, if you have to come to that place where you have to move, to quit, to walk away, make sure you have considered some of the things that I have said in this part two and also in the part one of the same series that I've talked about. Are you here for the first time? You have not subscribed? Go ahead and do that right now and I really appreciate it. I want to thank every one of you that has been sharing whatever materials and contents I have released. Even this one, go ahead and share with somebody else who might actually need to hear this because they are in the verge of quitting something. God bless you so much. And remember, as always, let's meet in the field of the millionaires because that's where you and I belong. I wish you prosper just as I am prospering right now. Thank you and see you in the next video. Bye-bye.